Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Lightning Club is next. And guess what? You've got a new deck. You've got a new deck. You've got a new deck. And you've got a new deck. Yes, that's right. Even the people we battled before under the GR Takeover has new decks because they're kind of like more their original decks, I guess you could say, because the ones they were using were GR-given, so to speak. But anyway, let's talk to Jennifer first. Yee! Oh, I love my deck full of adorable Pikachu cards. Remember her? Yeah, she's got her Pikachu. That's why I had trouble getting four. But I digress. Hey, come play with me and my Pikachu. No. No way. Come on and play. Uh... Oh, same dialogue? Really? Alright, okay, whatever. THE PIKACHU MANIAC deck. <laughs> As you would expect, because even she's got the makeup to look like the Pikachu with the blushes on for the cheek pouches of electricity. So yes, I've decided also, I'm gonna use my water deck for all these, just this kind of kind of put it through the paces. I mean, yeah, I do have colorless critters as well, but the idea here is to see just how powerful this water deck with all of its removal features is, you know? You know? <laughs> and she's leading with the flying version of the Pika. So that's double damage to the Staryu. I just kind of wanted to save my other stuff. I probably will be focusing more on uh, uh, colorless things more than ever in this sort of scenario, but that is okay. Uh, I definitely should do this, throw her off a little bit. But I, I, I want to slap, but at the same time I know I'm going to lose that energy card. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like I'm going to lose the turn for that. She's going to attach a... Uh, well, Especially now. She's gonna attach a lightning energy to the Pika Poop. And then she's gonna finish off my Star You like nobody's business, but it will not have enough energy cards in time for it to be able to do its Fly of Doom, which is kind of my plan here. So Dratini is out and hello, super energy removal. And uh, let's pound. And yeah, she's probably going to switch it up by putting an energy onto something else. Yeah, that's what I thought. Unless she gets lucky with the paralysis, but, you know, it's not something that you would rely on, per se, because, yeah, it's kinda, kinda, yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, let's plop that on there, just in case of the death coming. I mean, only, I only got the Dratini right now. I got a seal now, yay! But yeah, I'm just kind of lacking in the basics at the moment. I'm okay, though. I mean, it's got 40 HP. Everything out there can only really do 10 damage right now, so... We are good with our little dragon. And... That is a 10. And guess who's getting energy removal? <laughs> uh, I'll plop that on there. Put the other Dratini on there. I might be able to get a Dugong out, but let's go for the Dratini because of the um, uh, water regularity, I guess you could say. No double damage or anything like that. So, yeah. Um, hmm, yeah, I'll plop that on. I mean, yeah, uh, Dugong is fine against Squirtle and, and the like, but I mean, you know, she's... They're primarily lightning types here, is what I'm saying, so... <laughs> So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to play at a disadvantage, but I'm not sure how, how much of a disadvantage this water deck has, in all honesty. <laughs> it, has, it has outs to a lot of things. <laughs> and I'm gonna go for the bubble. Bubble, a successful. So Listratini is a goner unless I get some sort of evolution, which I did not. That's okay, I'm just gonna get stuff set up for the future there, and end the turn. And let's see what she's got. It's probably going for that fly attack, because the fly is... You know, it's got that ability to just kind of stop everything. <laughs> so yeah, I would have done the same. But anyway, for right now, I'm thinking the seal will do. 
I mean, it'll probably get knocked out by the flying Pikachu, probably, but we shall see. For now, let's head butt and take out the Squirtle. And the Jigglypuff. Yeah, it's another thing I could do as Wigglytuff versus the Lightning Critters, but we'll, we'll see how that goes. And you know, I could even upgrade this deck further with like more Pokemon Trader cards now, too, and everything. I just, eh, eh, I don't know, I just haven't really gotten around to it, you know? <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna go, actually, for the Jiggly and my turn. She's probably gonna go for the Fly now. Because that will be able to finish off the... Oh, no. I was going to say she's going to finish off the seal, but it looks like she's out of energy. That might be in my favor, perhaps. Oh. And Jiggly. Done. <laughs> Alright! Do your worst. And by your worst, I mean you're going to get another KO, aren't you? And... Oh, no! Ooh! Yeah, she tried to prevent the damage with the flying Pikachu using fly, but if you get a Tails, fly does nothing. So that could work in my favor even more, because I can set things up with Seal. And if she's going to keep flipping Tails, perhaps, maybe it won't take very long to finish this game, perhaps? I don't know. Oh. Sad face. Sad face. Yeah, that's the... Uh, that's the kiss of death right there. Okay, I don't know, it's probably fine. <laughs> I'm definitely going Dragonair, though. I can't attack this turn anyway, but hello! <laughs> uh, lightning? Mm, yep. Can't. <laughs> needs, needs three energy. She'll probably attack, yeah, I was gonna say, she'll probably attach and do a fly. See if that goes through. Nah, didn't. I just need one energy of anything. Star you. Mm, done. Uh, but yeah, I just need that one energy to kind of finish off the flying Pikachu, probably, with the slam, because, you know, it averages 30. That's another Tails. There's my water. And slam. Just need one. Yep. That will do. Ooh, 60 is overkill. That, that, that was too much, Dragonair. Too much. You gotta be gentle. Very gentle. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and the other flying Pikachu is a go-go, but it is a no-no with the energy, so... I If I get one more energy, I'm just gonna start hyper-beaming, because I know she's low on energy, so... Yeah. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. That, there's my energy! <laughs> I might as well dump out everything in my hand then. Plop this for the extra bench. Nothing more to evolve, so let's Professor Oak get that energy card. At least I'll probably get an energy card. Chances are good. There it is. And draw two. Water, water. Another Professor Oak, but I think I'll just keep on uh, hyper beaming. <laughs> I think that's a pretty good idea. It's gonna probably take two to knock out that flying Pikachu with Slam anyway, so I was like, eh. Eh, should be fine. Oh, she did a retreat. Uh, I wonder if I should go for the slam now, since she's out of energy. I mean, it might not do anything, but it probably will. <laughs> Let's see what we get out of this. Yeah, I got 30 out of it. Alright. So, yeah, the hyper beam is definitely a thing. Um, uh, yeah, that could prevent its demise. Or I could switch into a Wigglytuff. <laughs> just kind of plow it into oblivion. Ah, uh, whoops. Um, I'll to go there. Should I? Just... I could. Might as well, you know. <laughs> there we go. And victory is mine. So yeah, that's another way that the water deck can win, is it just uses colorless critters. For the most part, I mean... Ah, Pikachu were defeated. Lost style booster pack. Let's see. Ah, uh, hmm. Hmm. Yeah, they're all duplicates. And come back later to play with my Pikachu again. Okay. Never come back later. <laughs> so yeah, as I was saying about the uh, the Pokemon Trader Delio is that uh, yeah, because I got a bunch of them from booster packs now. I was thinking. I should maybe give it a little bit more bolstering in that regard, probably. Maybe. Energy removal is, of course, staying in. 
<laughs> but yeah, the idea of the um, Pokemon Trader is just to pull whichever stuff that I need. I'm actually kind of, I'm actually kind of wondering now. Like, what would I put in place of the traders? Because uh, those are pretty balanced. Dratini and Dragonair is pretty balanced. Could I afford to get rid of those singular Lapras? Wait, 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 wait. I could drop a Star You and a Star Me. There we go, sure. Because I got the trader, so I can pick what I want anyway. So, there we go. Next guy. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to return. I have a new deck ready to go. I also have some booster packs. Let's both try our best in a duel. Yep, Nicholas is ready. But we are not because we want to seize dialogue. What? So lame. I finally had the chance to show off my skills and I'm denied it. Let's have a battle now that I have a real battling deck made up. As always, we'll go to four prize cards. Let's start already. Okay, okay. I, I've stalled enough. Triple Thunder deck. Let's go. <laughs> so, still got the waters, but... Oh, he doesn't have anything. But, will the waters matter that much when I have to color this? Probably not. <laughs> uh, there's Pokemon Trader. I got Jigglypuff already, but... Uh, I might just flop on over with Professor Oak right away, and rather than wait for something with Pokemon Trader, because, you know... Just... Professor Oak just gives you so much. And that's a no-go. He's probably gonna go for the Leak Slap. It may do 30, or it may never do damage ever again. It will never do damage ever again. That looks like it did damage, but no! It did nothing. Uh, it's Bill. And water, water. <laughs> so, so much water! Lullaby. Let's try and... Get it sleeping in case he's got a double colorless. I don't know if he's gotten the offhand. I know it's always a possibility if there are colorless Pokemon. That's another thing I could add to this deck as well. Um, but just kind of didn't really think much of it, I guess. <laughs> and then when I did the Pokemon Trader editions, um, yeah. Boom. There you go. Two more hits, and that Farfetch is going to be turned into dinner. Mm, maybe. <laughs> Energy. Oh yeah, it's definitely gonna be turned into a dinner. <laughs> uh, pop that on there. Yeah, I was actually hoping I could use Pokemon Trader for something, but I might just have to discard it just to get something, you know, for the future and whatnot. Hmm. Maybe we'll see. Especially with that potion. Okay, Starmie. Yeah, I'll trade that. Trade Star Me. We're gonna go for Dragon. Oh no! I was thinking I was gonna go to Dratini and then get a Dragonair later in a draw, but I actually <laughs> I was thinking it. I put that in my hand. I ruined that. <laughs> well, that's one less Dragonair then. But yeah, I, I definitely need some sort of basic. Oh, um. Oh, um... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> that, that will do! And, uh... Aha! Uh, -huh. uh... Hmm... <laughs> I probably should just get some more basics. It seems like a good idea. And... That seal? Lapras? Might as well put the other seal. And... Do the way! <laughs> <laughs> That's the power of Wigglytuff! Well, and Professor Oak combo. Electabuzz is gonna try and shock us into oblivion. Possibly cause paralysis for all of eternity with a lot of head flips. That would be his best case scenario, I guess. Bill, but I got an energy removal, so he might just end up running out of stuff. There we go. And also, he's kinda running low on Pokemon as well, just in general, but I can't attack anyway, so he may very well get another critter in the meantime. Uh-huh... No, he did not! And... He is still able to stall, though, so that will work in his favor. Um, let's go ahead and... Open up, get a Dugong going. By the way, I got I got another Dragonair, as you've seen there, yeah. I didn't think I had to mention that, but... 
Yes, yes, we are good. No worries on that discard. <laughs> my, my plan worked out anyway. Alright, so he managed to actually do a lot of damage with that Thunder Punch there. But too bad for him. I've got a Dugong coming, and a possible Dragonair power-up when I can get enough energy for that. But for now, let's just do the wave, and leave it at 10 HP. He oh, he's, yeah, I was gonna say, he's probably gonna go for the Thunder Punch regardless, because he knows he's in trouble with the Wiggly. Uh, well, oh, oh, self KO. This might be one of those scenarios where I might have to replay the duelist. Because <laughs> yeah, nothing, nothing is working in his favor here. And I'm just gonna Aurora Beam to Oblivion here and back. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a no go for him. So he didn't really get to show off his deck to its full potential. Sorry, Nicholas. Sorry, Nicholas. My new deck, even it was defeated. Flight booster back! <laughs> and. Oh, look at this Wigglytuff! Look at this! It's not our Wigglytuff, Wigglytuff, but it's a new extended series Wigglytuff. And so you return before you attack and you flip a coin of heads! Your attack active Pokemon is no longer seek to choose paralyze their poison! Yep. Helping hand is here, but. Not the helping hand from future generations, it's the kind of helping hand that's like a blissy heel bell or something, you know? <laughs> and also expand, reduce damage by 10, so it's more like a bench Pokemon for you to utilize, just to support other Pokemon more than anything, because that 20 for 4 is really expensive, even if it does prevent you from taking a little more damage and it's got more HP. So in that in that that sort of way, it's like a stall Pokemon, but eh, eh, eh. Anyway, <laughs> you've seen this Pikachu a bunch of times. I think this is the first one we've gotten. Here is the agility, all effects of attacks, including damage. So that could be a good Pika for you to use. Oh, basic Poliwhirl. I don't think you've seen one of these other than the first game. I don't think I got one of these yet. I cannot. I mean. It, it's sort of like Disable, only it's making them forget for a turn with Amnesia. Just a different name, different coat of paint, and 30 times the number of heads like the Dragonair. Um, let's see what else. Nothing! Light the booster pack. Nice! I could actually add those to my water deck too! <laughs> I forgot about that! Um. Yeah, that was the only thing that was new, I think. Next time you see me, I'll have an even tougher deck and beat you, even though you're not gonna change your deck whatsoever. But I will! <laughs> yeah, I probably should do that and maybe add that double colorless. Uh, where is that? No, no, no not far down enough. There we go, drop that. Plop these in instead. I think I'll actually drop the Articuno. Just requires so much energy and I don't have Rain Dance here. And, oh no, wait, 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 wrong, 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 wait, actually, I'll put them both in, how's that sound? There we go, and let's try that out, <laughs> let's have a battle now that I have a real battling deck, da -da -da -da, four prize cards, you have the same deck, it's called Triple Thunder, <laughs> and hopefully, he'll put up a better fight, even though my deck just keeps getting more and more powerful, um, I guess I should lead with the Staryu. Prob- well, well... No, I'll go Lapras, because I, I just haven't really showed off this Lapras yet, so... Let's go Lapras! And Staryu has less HP, so... <laughs> That's another reason why I always using a colorless Pokémon anyway. So, they're both colorless. We got this silly Doe Duo. Gonna take a little bit to do some stuff. Well, we can do stuff with this Lapras right away. And it's got 80 HP, so it's gonna take him a little while to whittle this bad boy down. Master Ball for the Voltorb. And boy, this Lapras is sparkly. It's been putting on some lotion on the skin. Or else it got the hose again, or something like that. I, I don't know how it goes. Some, somewhere around there. 
is the saying in Pokemon. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> uh, we're gonna do that. Now, remember what that growl? It said it's done. By, it's reduced by 10. But what we're gonna do is instead of water gunning just to get 10 damage, we're gonna go Confuse Ray and see if we can confuse it all. I was gonna say, if we can confuse it and it'll attack on the next turn, then maybe we'll be able to do more damage out of that. Ooh, it has evolved. It has evolved. And kick for 20. One damage for 20, you know those are good attacks, so... I might be in for the fight of my life. And come to think of it, that confusion would not have worked if he was gonna evolve it anyway. So yeah, it's got the try attack. Every, uh, every head out of three is 20 damage. And... I guess I should probably do that to keep it from doing that attack. Just in general. And as long as it's within that sort of attack power range, I should probably try and do 30 with that. Ah, I see! <laughs> and trying to heal it up for later. And... Oh man! Oh no! <laughs> it's okay. All is well, don't worry. We have a star you. <laughs> we are going to plop that seal on there. And act ooh, um I, I was actually thinking I should energy removal. A uh, super energy removal, excuse me, but now that I think about it, that I wouldn't be able to attack. Hmm. Should I just let him knock out I probably shouldn't. I think I'll discard that, I'll just get rid of those. Now no one can attack! No one! <laughs> and then Professor Oak. Yeah, I know I'm dropping the Dragon Air, but I'm just gonna see what comes out of this. Mm. This is giving me a battle better duel this time. <laughs> Alrighty. So now I have Pokemon Trader, which I can use to grab another Dragon Air if I'd like. But, since I have a Wiggly and a Jiggly, I'm thinking I should trade the two Kong for something that I can use to stall while I power up the Wiggly top. <laughs> and then just sweep. Because, yeah, I, I need to. You need three turns, basically. Hmm. So what could I use to stall for a few turns? I'm thinking... Another Jigglypuff. <laughs> Plop that on there! And we're done. <laughs> I think uh, Staryu is in decent shape in general. Because... Well, okay, that's just gonna... I was gonna, I was gonna say, it's gonna do the same amount of damage. Um, I mean, excuse me, it was just gonna do 20 damage if it didn't evolve. But now it's gonna do the same amount of damage even though that it did evolve. Alright. So let's follow through with our plan, and call it a turn. Oh man! Oh man, they're getting to the nitty gritty of Wiggly! <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of nice about the whole prize card system, is that even, even if the opponent gets sown so far ahead, if you get like an ace or something, like the Wiggly, you can get those prize cards back pretty quick. And then some! <laughs> so it looks like... I'll just put in the Wiggly this time, actually, though. Oh, man! <laughs> I thought I should put in the Wiggly because he might decide to switch or something like that. But, nah. Nah, I guess not. I thought I was actually gonna use the more power 30 dealio. Well... Uh... I would like to fill up the bench with everything that I can, so I'm gonna trade this and grab a basic. Anything will do, but I think I'm gonna go Dratini. Place that there. Plop that on there. And now, we wave! <laughs> I figured with the Dratini, it's like another colorless Pokemon. Plus, if he decides, like, Gust of Wind or something, I don't know if he has that. And he targets one of the Dratini because they have low HP, I'll have the other one as backup. In case of Dragonair or something like that. You know what I mean! <laughs> Uh, yeah, since I got the Dugong, I think I'm gonna go for that and do the wave. The sweep begins once again. <laughs> Is Wigglytuff OP? Uh, maybe? 
I don't, I don't know if I'd say that. It takes three energy for this, and against human players, you'd be playing with energy removal, so they would see Wigglytuff coming a mile away, you know? <laughs> it just starts sucking away the energy. So it's like, hmm, uh, I don't know if I'd call it that, you know? <laughs> the only thing that I really say is really super OP is the Rain Dance Blastoise, because as soon as you play it, you can just dump everything out of her hand. Maybe Professor Oak gonna dump everything else again, and then maybe Professor Oak gonna dump all your stuff again. Because of the, you know, the Rain Dance just lets you attach as many energy per turn. But yeah, everything else has, like, some, some sort of workaround, basically. Should I? I guess I could use Bill first, just... Ah, I see. Keep that down. Pop that on the gong, and now we Professor Oak. So now we got two aces going on here. I won't be able to knock it out because he used Defender. Um, yeah, I can't really do anything else here. I filled up the bench so I could do the wave to its fullest extent. So, no plopping Lapras on there. Mm, wave. <laughs> oh wait, actually... <laughs> <laughs> Should just attach the energy. I don't know, I just feel like I'm I'm gonna win here, so I'm just hurrying it along, I guess. <laughs> just look looks like a scenario where I'm gonna win. And I I, I could be wrong though. It's, it could be wrong. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure a win is a pending. Uh-huh. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> Alright. I think that last prize card. See, I gave him a second chance, but he could not deal with the Wiggler. I knew that. Give me those booster packs. <laughs> Kadabra. I think I showed you that one before, actually. Uh, oh yeah, this mod shop. Oh wait, maybe I showed this mod shop. Hey, you double the six. Yeah, yeah, I did. Dang it. So many cards. So many cards. It's hard to remember. All the ones I talked about before. <laughs> oh, uh, this Sand Slash, that's new. If heads prevent all damage done, but other effects still apply. So, so you can get around with it, you know, like, like causing some sort of status condition, like paralysis or something like that. And the Rolling Needle, 40 damage plus 10 more for each heads. But for every tails, you damage yourself, and it's got 70 HP, so with that attack, it might not last too long, so I would use that attack sparringly, probably. <laughs> uh, oh, did I show the slow burrow? Yes, oh yeah, that was, uh, uh, someone else had that, it was, I think it was Imakuni. Um, uh, I show this, this game, <laughs> 30 damage times the number of heads, so it's a cheaper tail slap basically, and call for family. You know how those call for families work. And with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part when I battle the other two members of the Lightning Club. Starting with you. Don't hurt!